Hi, welcome back. I'm Adam Rosen. Today I want to talk to you about a very common question that people have is, what is a knee replacement? You know, a lot of people aren't really sure when we say you're going to have your knee replaced and they don't really understand what does that mean. A lot of people have this idea like we chop out a huge chunk of your thigh bone and shin bone and drop in this bolted hinge, makes you look like the Terminator. And we actually do have those implants. They're reserved more for severe fractures where we can't fix the bone or if somebody has a tumor and we have to resect a huge amount of the bone along with the ligaments. So when you don't, you don't have bone or ligaments to support, we can fill all of that with metal. It's bolted together with a hinge and it it's works, but it's not super functional. So when we talk about more of your common regular knee replacement, or also what's termed a knee arthroplasty, you'll hear TKA and TKR, what we're really talking about is resurfacing the ends of your bone. So we're resurfacing the bad cartilage that you have because you have arthritis. So again, if you remember that the cartilage is about three millimeters thick on the end of the thigh bone, top of the shin bone, and most people have then lost that, we're gonna resect any remaining cartilage and a little bit of bone to give a flat surface on the thigh bone and the shin bone so that we can then prepare the bone for putting on the implants. So if you think about it, where the cartilage was is now covered in metal. But again, we're recessing and taking a little bit of extra bone away to make up for the thickness of the metal and the plastic. So on the thigh bone side, what we first do is take a little cut on the end of the thigh bone. So we're removing any remaining cartilage and making a flat cut. Taking a little bit of cartilage and a little bit of bone off the front, a little bit of cartilage and bone off the back, and then these angled cuts called chamfers. And a similar thing happens on the shin bone. So on the shin bone or the tibia, we will take a little bit of cartilage and bone off the top of the shin bone and a little bit of bone to flatten the surface. Any remaining meniscus, because most people that do have arthritis also have meniscus tears or it was already, already removed years ago. Maybe you had a meniscus tear back then which now led to arthritis. So now when we're done, the bone is prepared and it, it looks something like this. So this is a sawbones replica, and what you're seeing here is the end of the thigh bone has been cut flat. There would be a little bit extra bone and some cartilage, and the cartilage would cap the end of the thigh bone. Top of the shin bone is cut flat, this angled cut called a chamfer, and you can also see this back cut called a chamfer, and the, the back of the, t uh, uh, the uh, femur is also cut flat. And then from the front, you can see that the shin bone part has been cut flat also. Once we do that, we can test and trial in this particular implant, you can also see the little holes are drilled, little pegs that help anchor the thigh bone part in place. And then you can see this little fin shape that's cut in the top of the shin bone. Think of it like the keel of a boat that helps anchor and control the rotation. So once the bone is prepared, now we can resurface the actual knee with the metal implant. And what you're talking about now is a knee replacement where the metal is what's making up for your bad cartilage that you've lost. So the metal is a little bit thicker than the cartilage because we've also removed some bone, and this is where the normal cartilage would be. So we have metal on the front of the thigh bone all the way along the sides and across the back, a metal plate that goes on the shin bone, and then the plastic insert which goes through. These come in one millimeter increments, so it's based on the length of your ligament so we can balance the knee. So now when you stand, you have metal on plastic, and then as you bend and straighten, the metal rubs on the plastic, which functions as your new knee. The back of the kneecap typically can be replaced. Some surgeons may not. Depends on the cartilage and what the integrity of the cartilage looks like in your kneecap. I have another video on that where you can see where we flatten, similar to this sawbone example, where we flatten a little bit of cartilage and bone, and then resurface it with a plastic button. So now when you bend and straighten, it's the plastic that will rub on the metal as opposed to your cartilage. So that is what we talk about when we say knee replacement, or what we talk about is a resurfacing, resurfacing of the knee, or also a, a TKA, total knee arthroplasty. And that's actually what happens or what occurs. Now, how is that similar or different from a partial? Well, a partial is just essentially a third. So this is a partial knee replacement, and you can see that the outside part of the knee is still the normal cartilage, again, preserving the ligaments, but in this particular instance, if you just have bad arthritis on one half of the knee, what can happen is the, the thigh bone is prepared, and it's slightly a little bit different in this case. It's milled, and then a shin bone portion is cut, but just the half of the shin bone. And now you have metal 
on the end of the thigh bone and the back of the thigh bone, a plastic insert in between. So now as this person bends and straightens, it's the metal rubbing on plastic, but just on the inside half of the knee, whereas the outside half of the knee is left. So this is a partial knee replacement indicated in certain patients if they have very isolated disease in one half of the knee uh, versus a full knee replacement where we've replaced the entire end of the thigh bone, top of the shin bone with metal and plastic to allow them to bend and straighten and remove the arthritis that you may have had that was causing your pain and symptoms. So I hope that answers a lot of the questions about what an actual knee replacement is and what we actually do to replace or resurface the ends of the bone. Thanks again for listening. I'm Adam Rosen. Until next time, stay safe.